The white coating you're looking at is the metal armor of the spiny leaf cutter ant, which it's developed to defend itself against the giant leaf cutter ant's metal jaws. Giant leaf cutter ants and spiny leaf cutter ants are engaged in an evolutionary arms race. Leaf cutter ants only eat a specific type of fungus they grow in their gardens on chewed up leaves. They collect enough leaves to defoliate entire trees and must fight to keep control over the trees in their territory. Giant leaf cutters, Atacephalodes, have metal infused jaws. By lining their teeth with zinc, they create sharp blades to cut down any enemies. Those teeth are strong enough to rip through human flesh and bite through the bodies of any competing ant species. In response, spiny leaf cutter ants, Acromimix echinator, develop metal armor, a thin layer of magnesium that covers their bodies. This team of researchers raise spiny leaf cutter ants with or without magnesium to create armored and unarmored ants. Spiny leaf cutters with no armor lost most of their fights against giant leaf cutter ants. When wearing their protective armor, spiny leaf cutter ants won every time.